Hello, comic book community, and everyone else on YouTube. This is Crime Alley Comics, and tonight I want to do an update on my contest, at my 800 subscriber contest, and I want to show you the books I've got over the last couple of weeks, and some other things that I picked up in the last week or so. <laughs> so first, I want to do an update on my contest. So I'm going to pull up the list so I can let everybody know who has currently um, put in an entry to my contest. All right. So I have 15 at this point, and I know there's a few more that's that's coming along. I think I think uh, Metarog's still going to do his tomorrow, I believe, and then uh, I think there's one or two more that that I know of that might be added to this but let's start out with number one nationwide coin hunt you are in the contest k titus kenneth beard andrew k 64 page special the gray man matilda gothica and she has prize tag uh comic issues channel evils comics simple simon Super Russ 9000 and he prize tags Alex Big Blue. Uh, and I put in Joker 68. Uh, comic Book Fever, he's got an entry in. James, and I think this is pronounced Galagos. If I butcher that, please forgive me, but uh, that, I, I wasn't sure about the pronunciation. Uh, the next one is The Uncanny D Man. And finally, Ben Troball, I believe is the way it's pronounced. That's the 15 entries that I have currently. Uh, if I didn't mention your name and you've put in an entry, please leave a comment on this video and let me know, you know, if you've done a video, let me, you know, leave the link in there for the video or if you just left a comment, just you know, I, I, I haven't seen the comments, so uh, just let me know if I didn't read your name off and you think you should have an entry in. So, all right, so I'm going to start off with my books now. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. Um, so last week's uh, comic books, Batman number 110. Get this where you don't have much glare, and I'm having a lot of problems with that. So, these mylar type bags and boards make it really difficult to see these books. Anyway, that's that one. Batman Adventure Continues. Batman The Adventure Continues, Season 2, Number 2. This is a cool cover. Uh, there we go. Well, if I turn it that way, you can see it better. <laughs> so, okay. There's that one. Batman Fortnite 0. Point number 6. And then for my wife, I picked up The Walking Dead Deluxe number 18. Geiger number four. Star Trek year five, number 22. And Captain America number 30. Alex Ross cover. Get that a little closer so you can see it. Beautiful black and white with the red, white, and blue in the middle love this cover that's what i picked up last week at my lcs now i told you the other day there was a book i was waiting on before i done my next uh, haul video so it came today my son picked this up from me or for me <laughs> um i told you a few weeks ago about a facebook channel 
Tater Tot Comics that does auctions. Um, a lot of times he does them on Thursday nights. Uh, occasionally he'll do one on a Sunday night and, you know, different things. So, but anyway, and I've, you know, I've explained that he has some really good deals. So, uh, I, you know, he's not giving me anything to promote his channel. It's just, I know he's got some great deals because I've watched his channel a couple of times and uh, he starts getting down towards the end of the video and books that he hasn't sold he cuts the prices considerably and I mean he cuts the prices throughout the throughout the auction but at the end if he has leftovers sometimes he'll cut them even farther than what they were to begin with and he's got some great stuff on there uh, especially for you Marvel guys because he does a um, well at least he so far he has done more Marvel than he has DC so um, so you you Marvel guys you know he's got some great stuff on there I mean he has some great DC stuff too don't get me wrong and in fact this is one of them that my son got from him and I've been wanting this book for a long time and my son picked this up for me from Tater Tot Comics and it is Batman 655 and it's in extremely nice shape and he really didn't pay a whole lot of money for it but it's a very nice book and I'm extremely happy to have it uh, I guess that's a like a Father's Day present for my youngest son <laughs> The one that lives in St. Louis. I actually had him on a video several months ago. Him and his little girl. She's over two years old now. So it's uh, it's probably been longer than I think. Okay, next book up. Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Number 4 of 12. Alright, let's stick that there. Uh, this, this is books now that I picked up today. <laughs> okay. Uh, Barbarella number one from Dynamite Comics and I don't remember which variant this is uh, I'm not sure who the who the artist is it's on there but I don't recognize I don't recognize the signature it's right there if anybody happens to recognize that signature let me know Trying to get it where you can see it. There we go. DLW is something. <laughs> so anyway. Very cool cover. Infinite Frontier number one. Um, I don't know if I'll continue to get this book. But I wanted to get number one. For a couple of reasons. I want to find out if it's a good read. And I, it also has Dark Side on the front. All right, Joker number five, variant cover, and I forget who this cover is by. I've got another Joker uh, number five coming from Midtown, but it's not here yet, so um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who the artist is on this one, but it's a it's a cool cover. Cool cover with punchline on the front. Batman Urban Legends number five. Very cool cover. I haven't had a chance to read that. This is a Finch cover, by the way. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read this yet, and there's all, they're already into it five issues. <laughs> but I need to take some time and read them to see if they're all that, you know, all that. And I don't remember how many issues this book is supposed to be, but but we'll see. Detective Comics, 1,039. There we go. Kind of a creepy cover in a way. <laughs> but anyway. Batman, uh, yeah, Batman the Detective number four. This is a variant cover, and it, it's just really cool. I love the red background, and here, let's turn it this way, because this, this might, 
might be a little easier to understand the picture <laughs> anyway it's a really cool looking book so now I did end up getting oh my goodness where did I get these from <laughs> oh um, the one stop shop that's where I got these from because uh, they are get they are doing the Neil Adams uh, variant cover of the Joker so I've picked up or I got number three in the mail oh I don't know a week or so ago so there's number three Neil Adams variant ignore my phone beeping it's somebody trying to text me so <laughs> I'll get to that later uh, I also picked up issue number four and as you can see this is a an homage cover to uh, Batman 244 I believe it is and this one is to and I'm I'm not real sure I know it's in the 230s but I can't remember if it's two I think it's 234 this is an homage cover to uh, Batman issue 234 I believe that's right it's it's the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face so it's I, because I think 232 was the first appearance of Ra's al Ghul and 234 I believe was the first uh, the Two-Face appearance so okay that's all the books I have for tonight now as you know I uh, I am a big um, Hallmark ornament fan. <laughs> so Saturday started the week of ornament debut. So I picked up a few ornaments that I wanted for this Christmas. And we'll start out with this one here. This is the first one. Wonder Woman. And let me see if I can get that where you can. Oh, there you go. So it's got a comic book in the background and then and then her. And it's a decent size. Well, you can see the size of the box. It's a fairly decent sized ornament. But it's a, a very cool looking ornament. If I can get this to focus for you. Come on. You can do it. Or not. Come on. Well, anyway, you get the picture. If I could, maybe if I get real close. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Very, very neat ornament. So that's one. I only got three for myself at this point because most of the ones I want are coming out in October. Um, had to have the Mr. Spock ornament that goes along with the Enterprise and is interactive with the Enterprise. Checkoff doesn't come out until... October but I did get the Spock ornament and for some reason I don't quite understand but this seems to be the only Batman ornament that's coming out this year from Hallmark I'll get that a little closer so you can see it so there's the Batman ornament now there is a Catwoman ornament coming out for the 66 Batman TV series in October and it's a limited edition so if you're interested in getting that ornament make sure you go on the first uh, the first day of the ornament debut in October which I I believe is on October 5th I don't know that for sure but you can go to their website and find out but anyway if you want that in particular ornament, it's the Eartha Kit Catwoman from the uh, Batman TV series. They did uh, Julie Newmar two years ago maybe? I don't remember but anyway uh, they did her a year or two ago or three whatever it's been. <laughs> I've lost count because there's been so many of them. So this year it's the Catwoman. Uh, also in October they're coming out with um, basically it's Bruce Wayne's den where the you know from the 66 TV series where the the bookcase opens up and they go into the bat poles 
so it shows them in uh, on the bat poles at the top but then it shows the bat cave on the bottom and it shows them in their costumes at the bottom of the poles uh, on this ornament I think the ornaments like 49 or 59 dollars and I don't know for sure what all it does because they don't have a video on uh, on Hallmark's uh, website at this point but it appears because I have seen it in different photographs on different channels and it appears that the uh, bookcase slides open at the top and reveals you know Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson and then closes and then the bottom uh, opens up and reveals Batman and Robin at the bottom of the poles in the Batcave. It's a really cool ornament so you need to check that out if you're a Batman fan like I am. So anyway, that is all I have for tonight. Um, like I said before, my contest ends the 16th, which is Saturday. Now, there's a lot of things going on right now. I don't know if I will get to the drawing, you know, this weekend or not. It may be the first of next week. Um, my mom was in the hospital last weekend and then we had some other things going on it's it's just been pretty hectic uh, over the last week or so and I've got a lot of things happening besides those things that uh, I've got to I've got to keep under <laughs> under wraps and, and try to get that accomplished and so on but uh, I will do my best to get a video up and I, I want to do I'll probably do a live stream for the giveaway uh, for when I pick the winners all right so so when I do that it, it'll probably be in the evening and it's probably going to be early next week I hope I hope I can get to it early next week anyway that being said thank you very much for watching I hope everybody has a fantastic week and a great weekend God bless all of you and we will see you all next video.